Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java Enterprise Programming Tutorial Series video. Today, we will discuss, how to handle request parameters in Java servlets. Moving ahead. Friends. In this tutorial, we will discuss how we can pass and handle request parameters in servlets. We will create a simple form which will take two parameters, these parameters will be passed to servlets in request. Through request, servlets will get parameters and print its values in response. Let's move ahead to NetBeans 8 and see how to handle request parameters in Java servlets. In order to create a servlet, let's create a web application. Right click on Projects tab, and go to New Project. New Project dialog box gets open. In the Categories list, select Java Web and, select Web Application in the Projects list. Click Next. Moving ahead. New Web Application dialog box gets open. Enter the name of the Web Application as, Application 3. Click Next. Server and Settings section of the New Web Application dialog box gets open. NetBeans 8 comes with a Glassfish Server 4, we will select Glassfish Server 4 as the server. Choose Java EE 7 as Java EE version. The context path of web application is, slash application 3. Click next. Moving ahead. It asks us to select frameworks. Just click finish without selecting any frameworks. In projects tab, application 3 gets created. It has index.html file in web pages folder. Let's create a simple form in this HTML file. Provide it a title as, message. I will remove content from body element, and create a form in it. Form element is created by form tag. In the form tag, I will create a label by name username. Let's assign a text area to username label. So, here it would be denoted by input tag. It has type attribute, which will be text to denote a text area. Assign a ID to it by username. This ID is unique in the HTML page and identifies element. Provide a name attribute to it as, username. Through name attribute request parameters are fetched in servlets. We'll see it later. Let's copy paste it for second parameter. ID will be assigned as, message and name also as, message. This creates our two parameters form. Let's separate both parameters by a line using br tag. Moving ahead. Let's create submit button. For submit button input type is submit. And label to button is assigned by value attribute, which is submit. Let's go ahead and run index.html. It starts Glassfish server. It builds and deploy application 3 on Glassfish server. It then runs index.html on web browser. It displays two labels, two text areas along with a submit button. Let's provide a username and message and hit submit.
you see nothing happens and URL changes. It is because no action is associated with submit button. This URL is a get request in which parameters are appended in URL as name value peers. They are separated by and symbol. So, we move back to index.html and in form tag we provide method to submit as post. This will create a post request rather than get request. We will add action to submit button later. Let's move ahead and create a servlet that will handle this request. In order to create a Java servlet, go to application 3 root, right click new and click on servlet. New servlet dialog box gets open. Enter message servlet, in the class name text box. Provide a package name, here it is com.hubberspot. Click next. Configure servlet deployment section of new servlet, dialog box gets open. Here we will not define servlet definition in web.xml and keep check box as unchecked. Click finish. Message servlet gets created in the source packages, under com.hubberspot package. The message servlet has at the rate web servlet annotation on the class level. Name is message servlet and URL patterns is slash message servlet. Message servlet has various methods auto generated by NetBeans. Do get is to handle get requests. Do post is to handle post requests. Both method call process request method, passing in request and response objects. Moving ahead. Let's see how we can access form parameters from request. Create a string variable, username. Using request.getParameter method, we will extract value of username which gets submitted by form. This method takes in a name of parameter, whose value is to be extracted from request. This name is the name we provided in index.html page for username. Same is repeated for message parameter. Moving ahead. Let's display value of username and message parameter in response to browser. We will output username and message in h3 tag as demonstrated. Let's move ahead and run index.html once again. Provide username, message and hit submit button. You see as we defined method in form as post, request URL remain the same. But still no action was performed. Provide action attribute to form tag. This inform submit button that when it's click submit the form to this action. In this case, action is message servlet. This inform submit button to submit form parameters as a post request to message servlet. Let's run index.html once again. Provide username message value and hit submit button
It now displays username as, Hubberspot and message as, How are you? And this time it submitted URL to message serve let. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, how to handle request parameters in Java serve lets, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.